Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy DJ Omanaya, right here at Colmado Show, Taste Radio, Dash Radio, and I got a special guest in the building. Yeah. P. La Cangri. What's up, P? What's good? Oh, oh, it took it took all this time to get me on this. What's up? <laughs> well, listen, I'm just building up the show. You know, at Colmado Show is something, um, something new, and I'm trying to highlight Latin urban artists and Latin global artists that you know who have a lot going on, but don't really get the recognition. So. That's why I step in and connect the two worlds and, you know, but tell the people where you're from, how you got your name, you know, stuff like that. Cool. My name is Pila Gangi, the boss of the block, La Jefa de Bloque. Um, everybody calls me P. I recorded my first reggaeton song in, in Puerto Rico with the producer named Timeless. And I didn't know what I was doing, but he fed me the lines and I killed it. And he goes, Tu eres una cangri, ma. I was like, ah. That's dope. That's dope. I was like, isn't that like daddy yet? Like, I didn't know yet. Like, I wasn't the slang, right? in the streets yet. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> and he goes, you're a kangri. You're, 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 you're P la kangri. I said, I like that. So we kept it. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. And um, being in Puerto Rico, did you, were, you know, were you inspired by being out there, by the culture and all that? And matter of fact, where, where are you from? Like, what's your nationality? Because a lot of people always ask, you know, yes. what, what is she? I'm Cuban. I know it's hard to believe. Yeah, I'm Cuban. I'm Cuban. I'm Cuban, but these Caribbean New York streets raise me, you know? The yeah. Puerto, Puerto Rican and, and, and Dominican and traveling back and forth like the Puerto Rico like you were talking about. Uh, and being in New York, you know, these streets will change you. Right, right, right. So it's, the, it's, my, it's my ethnicity, but the flavor is Caribeño. You know what I mean? So you got a little bit of seasoning from all the Caribbean cultures, huh? Absolutely, and it's a beautiful thing, man. And back back to Puerto Rico, where you were saying, uh, I was doing tropical music, I think right before I met you. Right. And and a friend of mine, Gigi, she said, do a little bougie, you gotta do some reggaeton. Here's here's a, here's a the key to the studio and go. In Puerto Rico, she gave me the address, right? Yeah, right. I'm in this brand new um, rental, this Mitsubishi, like some, some Lance or some, like some hot car. And I'm and it's white and I'm dressed. I got all my jewelry on. Yeah, I'm in the hood. Yeah. I'm like, what am I doing here? Mm -hmm. And I pulled up to the studio and everybody's looking out the window. It's like Dominican City. Everybody's Dominican in Puerto Rico. Like I was sticking out like a sore thumb. And that was my that that was my lesson. My mm -hmm. lesson was so I you know I you know I I cure everything with alcohol. So I invited the hood to the bar. Okay, there you go. Everybody drinks. We have Brugal. You know what I'm saying? And then the next day when I went to record, oh, yo, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it was dope. So yeah, those that moment in time where the, the guy called me Pilacangi was all at that studio and the, that whole experience of being in ese barrio. It was the right. barrio is called Capetillo. And being in that barrio, that that made Pilacangi. That's fire, that's fire. So you you know, you were embraced by the hood. I was, I was. You know, I that, that's kind of like what this show is about. El Colmado is like, you know, Corner Deli or, you know, one of those places that has everything that's in the hood. And uh, that's what I want this show to be about. That's why I brought you on. But thank you. I want to I want to talk about that single you got, uh, Acelera. It's like a trap EDM vibe. Like what, what inspired you to do that? Well, that song was we were originally hired as a team to do that song for a product. Um, and they wanted us to, to, to talk about some something fast, almost like the Fast and Furious movie. Mm. So my mind was in a different, I was gonna go more tropical, but I got to the studio up uh, in the Bronx and they, I thought it was an EDM record. I didn't know what to make of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the producers on it is uh, Ecstasy, which is from A&X, Alcover and them. They have numerous of hits with everybody. So, um, you know, the chorus came in English and I'm in mean, Spanish, Acelera. Mm -hmm. It flowed a lot of trap, like Dominican trap guys record in that studio so i guess a, a lot of their flavor a lot of their spirits helped me out at that moment a lot of johnny walker blue helped me out at that moment too and uh there was a song i said the song is fly the song is like timeless the song belongs in movies i'm just saying right right yeah that's fire that's fire so um with making music do you feel you know pressure to make english like a whole track or spanish or you know are you cool with it being a bilingual track because some artists get caught up like oh i only want to cater to this or that or do you just go with the flow of the music when you're in there in the vibe you know i think just talking about what we just did talked about that 
I've got that Caribbean flavor in them and we're from New York. Uh, I think it's whatever the vibe is. I mean, sometimes we were Timberland, sometimes we're high heel shoes, right? Yeah. Sometimes it's like that, you know what I'm saying? So when the, when the song comes and you, you get that feeling, you know where you got to go with it. I don't say, well, you know, today I'm going to do just a Spanish song. It's, it's, it's wherever the vibe is, you know, with the, the writing, it's wherever the vibe is. And sometimes I'll sit with a writer, like I had a writer over last week. He's like, P, we're going to do all this in Spanish. I go, no, we're going to go however the song takes us, wherever it right. goes. So you got to feel it. Like, yeah, you got to feel it. Yeah. Okay, okay. So now a lot of people don't know you wear many hats. You're a DJ, you're a producer, you're a personality, you're a writer. Uh, what else you got going on that we don't know about? Well, right before COVID, I was going to open a restaurant. Oh, wow. Right before COVID, we're going to start up with a pop up. I got the idea one day from talking to somebody who owns a restaurant. That same day we did the website, did everything, got the name of the restaurant, did everything. Decided to do a pop-up. I told my boy, hey, I have this idea. I want you to be around. He says, no, let's just, let me just back it. Let's do a real restaurant. I go, yeah, but let's do the pop-up first. Thank God. <laughs> and that, and right there, COVID hit. Wow. COVID hit. There was no money lost because we didn't, we didn't do anything. But the waiting list for the pop-up, I had 150 people waiting list. Wow. Paying a buck fifty a piece just to sit. Wow, that's insane. So you so, know the following's there. Yeah, no, absolutely. My grandmother was a chef and my grandmother sang. So when she took care of me while my parents worked, she would cook and she would sing and I'd be in the kitchen with her. So oh, it explains a lot now. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. Pretty dope, pretty dope. So now, like you mentioned in COVID, um, what did COVID help you focus on? It helped me focus on my fans, like like reaching out. I'm always a fan person. I make that mistake of maybe getting too involved. Like they, they'll get my phone number and, and you know, my boyfriend broke up with me today. You know, girls, you know, teenage girls, they, they become your fan. And so right. with COVID, I've been able to focus even more on fans and, okay. uh, and being really connected. So when I drop that next project or do whatever I got to do, you know, um, but I have some of my fans come when I was DJing, some fans will fly out who are my fans from music. They come from Colombia and I show them a hell of a good time at the club. You know, like they've been the VIP and stuff like that. So I was able to connect before. So this made me want to connect even on the more personal basis. And the other thing is I try to grow a green thumb. Did not work. <laughs> did not work. Not at all. Oh, man. Yeah, I think, I think most of us uh, were a little landscaping, try to do some stuff in our houses. Um, so now I, I salute you for that because a lot of artists, they forget to, uh, you know, be in touch with their fans and, and give that engagement. You know, that's how you create a core, a core uh, support system with your fans. So absolutely. Um, that being said, what, what do you have coming up next? You know, I know I said, let us out. You got something else coming up? What we got going on? Yes. I have a single that's dropping on January 22nd. Okay. Uh, together with the artist that I signed from Cuba. Um, I think I mentioned to you before that I, I just got to deal with Empire uh, distribution deal. My label's called Gutierrez Enterprises. Congratulations. Um, thank you. My artist's name is El Feno, Havana, Cuba. Word up. Uh, hometown, huh? Yeah, man. Hell of a singer. Um, comes from really humble beginnings. Trying to get him, um, get him to, to, to a place where he's comfortable. And I know that it's going to happen with the song Bailando Kizomba. If you don't know him, Anaya Kizomba, uh, it comes from Africa, from Angola. Uh, it's a real sexy dance. It's sexier than, uh, not sexier than, but different. Like, you know, bachata sexy? Right, this right, is, this right. is like, This is like, like sexy like that. And from Angola, I went to, to Brazil, to Portugal, to all over Europe. It's like the next big thing. Like, you know, you can get in trouble if you dance with someone that's not your significant other. I'm just, I'm, I'm just putting it out there. Dancing, huh? Yeah, so if someone says you want to dance Kizomba, you have to really like, you know, take your life in your hands. You never know what could happen. Oh, that's pretty so, dope. That's pretty dope. So so you got multiple flavors of music because I know in the beginning when we first met, it was like a reggaeton. Now, you know, you're doing the trap and now the Kizomba. I see like, so you got like a whole global feel for all your music now. And, um, my thing is like, what what would you do after that now? Like, is there another type of genre or, you know, a certain artist you want to work with in the future? I ask all those questions. Okay. I know a lot of a lot of the urban artists. I've had the pleasure of being friends uh, with a lot of them. I'm a huge fan 
of Arcángel's vocals. Arcángel, to me, his voice is, bro, it's just something that's spectacular. Yeah, he's, and then he's like, it's crazy. His voice is crazy. And there are a lot of, you know, I get asked, do you want to work with a, lot, with a female artist? Because I'm a female, it's like, you should work with a female artist. You, no, I, I want to work with someone that I want to work with because their vocals are, or are what I, I, they're up to what I can do vocally. Right, or, right. Or, or surpass me that I can learn something. And this is Chick, Ro Rosalia. You've heard of Rosalia, yeah, right? Yeah, she's, she's fine. Her vocals are, are, are I heard her the other day, uh, the owner from Bloque Radio sent me a, a, a snippet of her singing like something that's not like urban. I was like, yo, I want to sing with her. That's one girl I want to sing with in the urban market. In EDM, I'm in love with Becky Hill. And I gotta look her up. You know, Becky Hill's dope. And I, I remix one of her songs, her vocals are crazy. And also, in the hip hop market, I am in love with a boogie with the hoodie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Boy. Yeah, man. I'm way too fly. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way too fly. For sure. For sure. Dope, dope, dope. So, so now, um, moving forward, um, the new single is coming out. The EP is coming out. Right. I said, let us out. Um, when the world opens up, do you plan on trying to go on tours or, you know, cause I know you're trying to touch the fans, uh, yes. be engaged with them. Uh, do you plan on doing any shows like maybe virtually or in person if, if you know, where will it, we're able to go out? Well, right now, um, Bailando Kizomba, even though it's not out yet, um, right. it's on about 35 radio stations in Argentina and went to Argentina about four years ago on tour. So they're planning obviously COVID for right. me to be there like August with Fennel touring in August uh, oh. off, off the already want to give me a, a gold uh, it's not it's not a gold record it's like a gold CD it's an award they give to certain people yeah. I've, I got one already they want to give me another one because Kizomba is like completely completely taken off so the touring and the most important part about this whole record and I think I said it before but it's it's changing someone like Fennel's life like he don't got what we got. Like the stuff that would, like you know, like mm -hmm. the, the light and, and you know and wooden floors. He doesn't have none of that. So, right. so if I'm able to change his life, which I'm doing already, that's the perspective. That's the direction that I'm going in. And finding more artists, it could be anywhere, but whose lives I can change, who can take this and run with it. That's pretty dope. That's honorable. That's honorable. Yeah. That's very honorable. So yeah, man. Let's give it up for my girl P. P. I just want mm -hmm. you to tell everybody where they can find you, where they can follow you, your YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Very easy. P-L-A-C-A-N-G-R-I dot com. P like angry. If you look up, if you Google La Jefa de Bloque, if you Google the boss of the block, I'm there. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Watch out for Bailando Kizomba. Comes out January 22nd. Support me. Support the movement. If you're an artist, if you desire to triumph, reach out to me. I, Call them and I, yeah. I'm personable. <laughs> we can make it happen. You know, you can bribe me with Johnny Walker Blue, walking with a bottle. I got you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all good. But listen, don't give up on your dreams. It, it's possible. I've done it. Oh, I know you've, you've, you've done things you didn't even know you were going to do it. And we're not <laughs> done yet. Right. We're not. We're not. Definitely. Shout out to P. Thank right you. Right here, El Colmado Show, DJ yeah. Yeah. Taste Radio. Yeah. Dash Radio. Let's get into that song, Acelera, right now. Let's go. The Colmado Show, baby. Hey.